Was that a remix of, uh, what is it, Drop Zone from Point Break Heist? Is there anything else? No. Alright, well, let's analyze this trailer here, because I do that, right? You know? Alright, we got Harvest and Trusty Bank for doing a zoom, like a shot down here. End of the line. End of the line. Why? But it's the ultimate edition, though. I don't know. Apparently, this is the actual in-game thing. So you got Houston, Dallas, Chains, Wolf, which I don't really know why you would showcase those four characters. Um, Dallas, I can understand why. Chains, I can understand. Houston, I, I can somewhat understand. But Wolf, at this point, is just like. You, you can even see he's he's separated from <laughs> the rest of the crew um, because of everything that's happened. So, yeah, I don't really know why they market Wolf as much anymore. They don't really. They just, I don't know, they just throw him into this one for some odd reason. Who knows? Who knows? Moving on. Okay, yeah, Dallas puts on his mask. Really cool. Yeah, but everyone has to start somewhere. Well, you know, yeah, start with a crappy Glock. Get ready for the ultimate experience, everybody. You know, Houston has his AM car here. They shot the, they shot one of those civilians. I just know that for a fact. They just, they had to shoot one of those civilians. Well, at least they're advertising a bit more, but my, okay, hold on. I don't know how loud this thing my main issue with the Ultimate Edition is that for long time veterans for like say Pay the Heist for Payday 2, right, for those people, right, who's stuck around with, by the way, how does that civilian, how did that civilian not notice any of the clowns wearing huge armor and having miniguns at the front door? Also, for some odd reason, Hoxon is doing wielding what? Shouldn't o overkill. Shouldn't you give the duelies to Dallas and the MP to honestly, like, give those guns to him? I don't care what you do with Wolf. I mean, he'd do like MP5 or any of these weapons, but like, what? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and then you got this confusing part of the tr whatever. Oh, sorry. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get right into it then. Nothing. Now, let's just get right into it. Payday 2 Ultimate Edition. Play the trailer we already did. There are 250 plus masks, 50 plus heists, and 150 plus weapons. Go to the store. We'll go there in a second. Moving on to that, we have Rob Banks together. Payday 2 is all about teamwork. Get some friends together or just join an online game. Either way, you'll be part of a crew where uh, where each player counts. Each weapon each weapon pick can be cruel. What? Critical? I mean, let's just say let's just go with critical. You know what? And being a team player is vital if you want to get rich okay uh what's this one everyone starts somewhere you start small with a minor arsenal and a few masks but the world's banks and safes are yours to grab and as you climb the criminal ladder your arsenal will expand you'll earn more money and soon you won't be at the bottom anymore soon enough you'll reach the infamy rank in in game then you'll earn the respect a bank robber of your uh, stature deserved. Uh, remember that every dollar counts. Does it though, Overkill? I mean, it only counts at the beginning and then later just doesn't mean anything. <laughs> uh, moving on. Even in the slideshow, right? Because I, I was checking it out before. They don't even show Wolf. Like, wo like they only advertise him for classic stuff or... For instance, this, and they don't even put him in this. Like, they couldn't think of anything else to say. Like, okay. 
From gun to minigun, Payday 2 is strongly supported by the developers. With over 140 updates, Payday 2 is a game that is treated with, res with respect and experience. Well, yeah. The Ultimate Edition includes over 150 weapons, 15 characters, 250 masks, and 50 heists. The game is constantly uh, improved as we work together with the community and make sure that Payday 2 gets taken care of gets taken care of proper what okay moving on Ethan and Ela going forward the only DLC that will be available separately is the Ethan and Ela character pack the uh, subsequent revenue from the Ethan and Ela character pack is going straight to Ethan and Ela uh, uh, I don't know how to say their last name I forgot of H3H3 Productions and it just goes back to here so moving on from that, we got the FAQ, everybody. This is everybody's favorite part. Actually, no, everybody's favorite part is when I talk about the bug fixes and things. Uh, Ultimate Edition FAQ. Why are you doing this? We want to treat our players who have supported us through the years by making all future DLC free. Payday 2 was released in 2013 and has since, and, and has since its launch received more than 144 updates and has gone through numerous changes based on the community feedback. As developers, we have not always made the right decisions, but our community has stood by us through thick and thin. To honor our community support, all future content will be released for free for anyone who owns Payday 2. In order to consolidate all the content and ensure the best experience for our players, both new and old Payday 2... Uh, is involving into its final form. Pay to Ultimate Edition. Combine the base game with all of the f 144 updates we've made. Really, it's just counting the DLC, and that's it. Like, all the updates are already in-game, so... I don't know, like, how that's... Yeah. Where is... Where is all... <laughs> where is all DLC? That's... That's some good grammar. Gone! Previously, DLC is currently being added to the Ultimate Edition, which will be available at a later date. More information will be available at the release of Pay to Ultimate Edition. Wait, previously is being added. Oh, okay. I thought for a second I was like, wait, you're adding more to the pat? Why? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm going to push this table into the thing there. All right. How much will it cost to upgrade my Payday 2 game to the Ultimate Edition if I haven't bought all DLC before June 8th? Now... To give some con uh, some perspective here, in a sense, a lot of people who got the game for free knew that there was some updates, but didn't actually know what happened with the, uh, with the uh, Ultimate Edition or anything. So they were very confused and later are now pissed because they got a free game and now had to pay for all the DLC in a bundle. Which, um, if we read further, I think there's further questions uh, talking about it. Uh, some things so uh, how much will the price to the upgrade will depend on several factors more information will be available at the release of Payday 2 Ultimate Edition how much will Payday 2 Ultimate Edition cost? Payday 2 Ultimate Edition will cost $45 at launch it will be offered at a 10% discount for a limited time so um what 40 bucks is 10% I think I don't know I could be wrong um, so I'm not going to be able to pick what DLC I want. No, you can pick, you can pick and buy whatever DLC you want at 85% off before May 8th. To June 8th. After the, after that, any DLC that was previously made... Um. Uh, overkill. There, there seems to be a mishap. That doesn't actually mean anything, because June eighth happened a while ago. Or is this old? Is this FO? I think this FO. Wait, is it old? I think it's old. Anyways, we'll keep reading. Uh, do I have to buy all DLC I don't have to get free content updates in the future? No. You don't have to upgrade the Ultimate Edition, but you still will get new free content. 
Are you not supporting Payday 2 anymore? Is this the end of Payday 2? No, it's not. Rashly decided to support Payday 2 even longer than originally planned. Previously, we announced that we were going to stop at the end of 2017, but now we've extended development until October 2018. Isn't the Ultimate Edition way more expensive than, more expensive than just buying uh, each DLC separately? No, it's not. If you buy the game and all separately DLC, it's much more expensive than buying the Ultimate Edition. What about console updates? The Paid 2 Ultimate Edition is a Steam bundle. Console players will receive more news as additional content is made available for them. More content is currently in development for both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Paid 2 is also in development for Nintendo Switch. For some odd reason. Why is Ethan and Ela character pack separately available? And why is the completely overkill pack not included in the Ultimate Edition? Because I am a greedy person and I want the completely overkill pack. You know, because I didn't want to spend the 20 bucks when it came out to support something like that diamond guy did. Well, that was stupid to say. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, we are doing this because we appreciate Ethan and Ela and want to find a way to help them out financially so they can continue to do what they do best and as independent creators. We'll be selling the Ethan and Ela character pack for $4.99 and the subsequent revenue from the Ethan and Ela character pack is going straight to Ethan and, and Ela themselves. And we at Overkill get 0%. We understand and respect and appreciate the privilege, uh, privilege situation our community has helped us create as an independent game developers. We want to help Ethan and Ela do, uh, to do the same. Just like we want to help other independent game developers get their games out the door while having their retain their own IP. Independent creators may matter and we, the Payday community, one of the largest communities online, needs to do our part. Dang. I'm pretty sure I read this before. Uh. Um. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. Oh, I don't know if there are ever be a sale for that DLC though. Like they might make a sale at some point, but I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see, moving on. The completely overkill pack will, will not be available because it was a timed exclusive, only available at one point in time. We will continue to honor and respect the investment the players that support us at that time did by never introducing it again. Thank you. Is there a secret motive behind these actions? We're not being told. Like, are you secretly trying to rule the world and just ruin all the, you know, ruin the game? Because I'm a player who likes to complain about everything about this game. Uh, there are two motives behind this. The first is to say thank you to all our current players who have purchased the base game and any DLC by offering an opportunity to buy the remaining content for an all-time high discount. Okay, yeah, they copied and pasted this entire thing. This is the same FAQ. Okay, well, moving on. Uh, you weren't supposed to look at that. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me just give me a second. Give me... Whenever Payday 2 wants to... There we go. Alright, scrolling through. Scroll up here. This person's complaining about the game. Sorry. Uh, more things going on. Ah, here we go. Alright. Uh, we'll check that out in a bit. It's time for the ultimate experience to hit Steam Store. Payday 2 Ultimate Edition is live. If you haven't been in the loop, Payday 2 Ultimate Edition is one big pack with all DLC for Payday 2. You will get the base game and all content that goes with it. In short, there are now there are now there now are two new options on the Steam Store uh, page: the the Payday 2 Ultimate Edition game and the Payday 2 Ultimate Edition upgrade. Which one of you may not have? Oh wait, there's an upgrade? Well, shoot, then just buy the upgrade. Or do you have to... I, I don't know how it works. I bought all the DLC, so... Uh, instead of paying a bit over 200 for everything, like you had it... Like you had to before, if you want all the DLC, we're selling the Ultimate Edition upgrade for about $44.99. Uh, if you bought Payday 2 at some point in the past, you'll get a 10% discount on the Ultimate Edition upgrade. Any DLC you have purchased in the pri in the price will automatically be uh, deducted from the upgrade price based on the DLC you own. See? 
That's what I was talking about. I was hoping that Overkill would be like, oh yeah, you don't have to buy the whole package at full price just for like two DLCs. That's brilliant. Thank you. That's 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 wonderful. That's honestly a wonderful thing. Um, let's see here. This is the next step for Payday. One big step where we make it easier for all players to get their hands on the biggest game we've ever done. Well, you've only done two games, being Pay the Heist and Payday 2. So, I would imagine so. Um, I would like to remind you that any DLC going forward besides the Ethan and Keller... Uh, Ethan and Keller... Ethan and Ela character pack for Payday 2 is going to be 100% free. Like we have said in the past, we will continue to support Payday 2 with more updates, heights, weapons, and other fun stuff. Let's hope that there's not a trailer that comes out soon where Almir is like homeless and has to explain why we had to uh, pay for DLCs again. That'd be great if that didn't happen. Um, we're also getting free community stuff. Free community item. Uh, the, the pop things that people play with. You know, that are from Russia. Greens from the motherland. All, commu all community members will get our brand new explosive and throwable grenade. It does some serious damage and lets you blast some enemies while staying true to the motherland at the same time. Does it really do more damage though? If I go in game and look at the base damage of a grenade and the other grenade and this grenade, is there going to be really a difference? Is there really? Is there really going to be a difference? Also, why does it look like a, uh, I don't know, like an EMP grenade? I, that's kind of weird. Uh, and then that stuff. Uh, celebrating. Top five posi uh, position among most played games in day in a day of all times. Golden Dallas. Free community mask. Hey, you know what's funny? I, uh, I actually I um, have a bunch of masks in the game. You know, I have a Dallas mask. And... I thought, you know, I want to do all gold mask because I already had the wolf mask. So I took my golden material and I spent my one mil. I spent a million dollars uh, on this mask of a uh, golden Dallas mask. And now just the fact that today it's basically the mega version. It's basically the mega Dallas version of gold. Like if you think about it because of how it's set up, it really is. But yeah, I'm kind of pissed about that. Um, one last thing. As we broke our our all-time high record for players online, we are giving all community members a golden Dallas mask. Why? Because every heister loves gold, of course. We wanted to highlight this amazing feat uh, done by our community of loyal players robbing banks like never before. Thank you all. We salute you. That's all for now. Now go throw them nades. Honestly, I would have just loved if they said, now go throw them nades. Like, kill them Nazis. Snipe them Nazis, man. Snipe them Nazis. This has nothing to do with payday. Uh, though raid, it has to do with raid, so. I mean, that that's the same. Uh, Overkill. I, I never want to say his name because I feel like I'm going to butcher it. I'll just say entirely overkill. Update 148, change log. Update size, 42.2 megabytes. The desync beta will be deactivated until we release a new patch tomorrow. Fixes. Fix an issue with taking ammo from the sh shelf in day one of the biker heist. Fix a spot where you could get stuck behind a table in Brooklyn 1010. Fix a location where players could see enemies spawn on day one of Hotline Miami. Fix a clipping issue with a brick wall on day one of Hotline Miami. Fix so that you can no longer throw bags on top of the escape helicopter on day two of Hotline Miami. Fix so that the bags are visible in the helicopter if you get the right escape on day two of Hotline Miami. Fix an issue where the player was unable to interact with the FBI computer on the pool table in Hotline Miami. No, it talks in revenge. Remove the shield spawns from the train so that players don't get pushed out in prison nightmare. Fix players not being able to join while players were using legendary biker safe skin. Hot La Miami. Alright, let's see some comments here. How to invite my friend. Wow. Individual price of the 28 items you don't already have. Uh, bundle discount, your costs. 
here's what you say about buying the bundle. Kind of weird that I still have to pay 30 bucks for the amount of DLCs I don't own, especially as the whole dimension is only. And I said it will be a vodka grenade. Yay! Actually, no. It'd be it'd be like a it'd be like it'd be like a Molotov, but if you throw it, then it's like it's like blue and red and white fire. Only works with Sokol though. Only Sokol. Don't know why. <laughs> or no, no. When you throw it a Sokol, it starts playing like a Russian anthem. <laughs> starts playing like some Russian anthem. Uh. All right. Well, there you have it. Oh. Well, thanks. I just can I spread? Thank you. All right, and then uh, yeah. So, pay to ultimate edition bundle, collection complete. Forty-four items from this collection are already in your library, and I can't buy any DLC from my friends anymore. Isn't that funny? <laughs> um, yeah, but I kind of I kind of found that funny. I I look. <laughs> Uh, I looked at Ness, see what DLCs he had left, and I just spent, like, some of my money being like, here, these are, like, the last two DLCs I'm probably gonna ever buy you, so here. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at that. Entirely free. Yeah. Well, not, not, no, I shouldn't say entirely free. It's, <laughs> what am I saying? Um, but yeah. I think one of the great things to be highlighted here on this day of Payday 2 is also VR is coming out soon. Now, me, uh, actually, I shouldn't say me because originally I thought it was, you know, I still think it's somewhat cool, but after hearing what Seth said, I kind of realized, like, I kind of see his point that VR is kind of like not, I, he doesn't really see it as the future. Holograms are the future, and I fully agree with him on that. If I could play Payday 2 with like a hologram system and that, like, that'd be amazing. If I could play doom with that if i could play the stanley parable oh my gosh if you could play the stanley parable with holograms someone is going to die <laughs> i think there needs to be a thing if there's if there is holograms where it needs to like hey you know it's you you have like a real world to live in um yeah <laughs> i've always found that funny about vr or just any type of like medium that like gets you sucked in more, but yeah. What's that to do with payday? Um But yeah. Also by the way, the reason why I was talking about like weird picture is because they have Dallas and they have Dallas and then they have Hoxton and they have Houston and they have Chains and then they have Wolf that Overkill is slowly getting rid of, so you know. That that's a thing. But I think overall this is a good I mean this is a good deal. Um I don't know if the Ethan and Ela character pack are going to be added with the Ultimate Edition. That I don't know if that's been said anywhere or anything, but I think it will be a separate thing, which will be nice, I think. But yeah, so that's about it for this video. There were stuff before, but I don't know if I talked about them. And also, desync update. Apparently, fix things. I have no one to play with. <laughs> Have no one to play with to actually test the desync issues, so that's great. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to watching E3 conferences. And uh, by the way, Devolver, Devolver, I, I know you're, I know you're not watching this. Y you and the other people, right? I can't remember their name off the top of my head. Um, but everyone that worked on that press conference and the the pre pre show wonderful people you made e3 so much better by making fun of it <laughs> that was one of the best streams i've ever seen and uh everyone like because i've been saying that devolver digital is pretty much the adult swim of video games and everyone's like you do realize that adult swim also makes video video games right i'm like yeah but devolver is kind of like the og of video like adult swim video game <laughs> i don't know what you call that it just i feel like devolver is better at it at i think devolver is better at marketing and publishing video games honestly developing games yes but i feel like they're just better at that and they're they act more like adult swim on a video game platform and the pre-pre show 
was pretty much Adult Swim. Like, it ran through the entire night until, uh, I think, 10 a.m. for me. It ran to 11 a.m. Or, not 11 a.m. Uh, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. to, you know, 10 a.m. So, that was fun. Um, barely got any sleep last night. I actually only got one hour of sleep. That That's actually a true thing. I slept at like 4 and then woke up at around like 6. I am very tired. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go now and work on this and hopefully upload it around when uh, the press press conference for What's-Its-Face is supposed to start and finish all my work so I can just watch the rest of the press conference. I think it's Sony. Yeah, it's Sony. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully see you th uh, soon. Um, yeah, really hope to see you guys soon.